of the mega hit TV show Sex and the City opened last night in London and the four sexy co-stars were showing their stuff for the cameras. Now, we're not sure why New Line Cinema chose to open a film set in New York in London, but regardless, uh, joining us now in Style Magazine's Katrina Zisch for some insight into what fashion companies will benefit from this Sex and the City movie. Let me get this straight though. If a movie set in Albuquerque, is it supposed to open in Albuquerque? If a movie set in... Well, the whole movie was, was based, based around the New York I, lifestyle. So if a whole movie is based around yes, Albuquerque absolutely. lifestyle, it should open in... I, I'm going to yes, this Yes, absolutely. Right, did Katrina? Far, I don't know. Did Fargo open in Fargo? I say go to where your market know. is. Yeah. At any rate, have been talking New York. about what the market is, other yes. than these shoes here... The He's taking is, them away. Is this a high heel or a <laughs> stiletto of a different it, sort? It's a realistic Here. architectural. I'm confused. Camera. This that is camera. like a bad. I, I wore it to confuse you. This is like bad model art or something. It goes this something. way. It goes this way. See? Here we go. Yeah. Now we're, yeah. we're spending no all the time looking at Katrina's shoes. Women. And yes, they there are. There it is. Can you tell us a little bit about the companies besides Manolo or whoever makes these? That's a pinky shoe. Mark Jacobs. Oh. Jacobs. All right. So what the heck's going on with this fashion? Other than this movie destroying any semblance of morality in New York City. What you just can't do. find a date. Katrina, <laughs> what, what designers are going to benefit? The city. But, you know, everyone from, of course, Manolo Blahnik, Jimmy Choo, uh, Salvatore Ferragamo, Balenciaga, <laughs> Chanel, all of those labels that most women love and fantasize about. Most this women is... in New York City love. You know, yeah. normal girls, they don't care too much so about So anything, I don't think that's anything true. that Carrie Bradshaw, anything that the other gals yes. wear in this movie will be hot commodities the tomorrow. Items, the items themselves will be hot commodities or any, hot commodities or anything that looks similar similar to the item or any trends with the way that Patricia Field, the uh, movie stylist, styles any of these particular items. We'll be seeing a lot of those trends carry over, whether people are buying them at the higher end items or buying things that are similar. So, for example, if Carrie were to wear some, like, true religion jeans, then I should go buy true religion stock. But the problem with these, like, Jimmy Choo and Manolo, or I can't believe I even know some of these names. It's because of these darn exes that I'm really talking about. Like, the what the, like but, but the, how do you invest off this? How do you figure out, are there any trades off the movie, or, or, or do you just buy Time Warner because, you know, they, <laughs> they might actually benefit? The movie's going to make some big bucks. I actually disagree. I think the movie's going to bomb. I'm going really? with Megan. Really? No, our, our no. Nah, I think the movie's no, going to do well. The movie's going to do great, and I think in general the luxury fashion market as a whole will see a rise. And you guys you know notice, what? In fact, we're going to we're going to make Cody. We're going to all go as a show to make take Cody to see the movie. Oh my God, that's not going to happen. And he's going to wear my shoes. <laughs> I'll bring my iPod. <laughs> and you're going to actually <laughs> like it. He's going to say, you know what? I actually like I the movie. Learn something. I'm going to learn yeah. something out of that movie. Value add all no, the way No, but I, I tell you, hour. even like the, the whole little Paris purse, we yes. had it on the show a couple of weeks ago, and yeah, it's like a hot commodity. It's true. Anything in why, why these girls? I mean, why this movie? Why well, is these it... girls really became fashion icons, especially because a lot of people did identify with their singleton lifestyle, I and they, they wanted to leave. Cody, so to if it. you really knew what this movie was about, you would totally sympathize with them because it was the women's agon women agonizing over, over not being able to find a date. It's women cheating and then hooking up with another guy and spending all their time That's on like shoes. You. As, 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 as it's the female version of your problem. Guys, we've got plenty more happy hour and thankful. <laughs> no more sex in the city on tap when we come back. <laughs>